Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Thomas here with one four for the rest of the Marks of Excellence, which you can find each and every Thursday night on Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. Wanted to give you a review of the Stumping Grounds pay-per-view that happened this past Sunday night from Tacoma, Washington. Uh, the WWE put on a pay-per-view, very decent pay-per-view that I might add. And then it started off with a great match. It started off on the pre-show, started off a match that set the bar high uh, for this pay-per-view. Uh, we had fire in this match, and it was a 205 match. If you don't watch 205, ladies and gentlemen, you need to watch 205. These guys in these guys in 205 Live are putting on some of the best work. And it's one of those shows that most people don't watch because it's on the WWE uh, Network. But you have to check it out. And the show, it started off with Drew Gulak, uh, Tazawa, and, ta and taking on the champion, Tony Nice. And this was back and forth match. We saw a lot of high spots uh, in this match. Uh, we saw Tony Nice and, and Tazawa put on a great show, good match there. But I love the fact that WWE had let Drew Gulak go away from the gimmick that he was doing. He came in the black shorts. He came in the the tights that was there, and Drew Gulak put on a good match, and he finally gets his just due. Let's be honest, Gul Drew, Drew Gulak has been at 205 Live since the beginning, and he has been up for the title, lose the title. Change gimmick here, don't change gimmick there, but now it's his time, and Drew Gulak, ladies and gentlemen, is your new 205 champion, and good for Drew Gulak. Let's hope this hat this run as 205 champion uh, serves him justice. Make sure that 205 championship with Drew Gulak, he doesn't end up like guys like uh, Murphy, who got to the main roster and has done nothing. Guys like Cedric Alexander, who's gotten to the main roster and uh, WWE hasn't used him. Let Drew Gulak stay down in 205 WWE and let him continue to reign as the 205 champion. He is very entertaining. He's a good worker in the ring. Congratulations to Drew Gulak for being the new Cruiserweight champion in 205 Live. Then we shifted to the main show of the evening. And what we saw on the main show, we shifted to the opening match. The opening match was a feud match between Becky Lynch and Lacey Evans. Now, we've seen this match before between Becky Lynch and Lacey Evans. But this right here, put they put on a decent match here. Even at the beginning of the show, I thought this was good placement to have Becky Lynch and Lacey Evans uh, fight at the beginning of the show. We saw later on why Becky Lynch and Lacey Evans uh, fought at the beginning of the show. And Lacey Evans had to prove herself. Now, there was a couple botches in the match. But overall, this was a decent match. And at the end of the day, it was the man that prevailed. Uh, Becky Lynch gets the win over Lacey Evans to retain the Raw Women's Championship. WWE's building Lacey Evans up. Eventually, she will become the Raw, uh, w, the Raw Women's Champion one day down the line. Uh, but she did put on a good performance. Her and Becky Lynch had some good chemistry uh, in the ring. Uh, but this wasn't a night for Lacey Evans, but it was the night for the man to get the win over Lacey Evans. Uh, then we moved on to what I thought was a surprising match uh, of the night. It was one of the surprising matches of the night, and that was Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn taking on Xavier Woods in Big E Langston. Uh, this match started off with Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens hitting some big, big moves on Xavier Woods. Oh, big moves on Xavier Woods. But Xavier Woods did not quit, did not give up. Uh, Xavier Woods ended up prevailing. And, and Big E spent a lot of time on the ring apron thinking, you know, maybe Big E isn't 100% healthy. Maybe Big E is still a little bit hurt. But when Big E got the hot tag, we saw that Big E was not hurt at all. He's moving and flying around the ring as, as if he's 100%. Uh, and we saw uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn weather the storm of Big E and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens pick up the win over New Day. What a big win there for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Even though it was nothing online, it was no tag team titles, it was just a straight up grudge match. Uh, this match had you uh, intrigued. This match had you emotionally invested into the match. And first half of WWE Stomping Grounds was good. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, in my opinion, the first half of WWE Stomping Ground was good. You, they was competing against the BET Awards and, and everything else that was going on. And most people really watched the WWE Stomping Ground and they saw a good match uh, once again. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens prevailed. Be interested to see where this storyline goes uh, goes from here. Uh, will we still see more matches between Kevin Owens and, and Sami Zayn taking on the New Day? In this case, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. And like uh, Xavier Woods, excuse me, and Big E. Uh, Big E is definitely a powerhouse. Uh, no 
Big E not splitting from New Day, and I hope WWE never splits New Day up uh, because they need to be together. Uh, this threesome uh, is one of the best in the business, and this twosome of Big E and Xavier Woods could one day be uh, SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Uh, then we moved on to the U.S. title match. Uh, and we know Ricochet had an interesting week because things being leaked on social media for Ricochet. Wanted to see how WWE would react and how Ricochet would react even to this match taking on uh, the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe, uh, in this match. And this match right here was the match of, in my opinion, one of the matches of the night uh, where you had Samoa Joe taking on Ricochet. High-flying, powerful match. Everything was moving and, and intentional uh, between this match. And Samoa Joe is a great performer. Ricochet is a great performer, and these two guys put on a match. Now, I know some of you guys out there were saying, if this was, y'all know, if this was on the Indies, and when this happened on Indies, uh, happened on Indies, everybody was up in cheers, handy, uh, happy for the fact uh, to see Samoa Joe and Ricochet. Uh, if this was in the Indies, or if this was even in AEW, everybody was giving a clap, clap. This match is awesome type match. But because in WWE, you have some people who are hating on this match just because it was in the WWE. But nonetheless, they put on a great match. Ricochet uh, lived his boyhood dream. Uh, Ricochet is your new United States champion. Uh, pinning Samoa Joe after he hit him with a 630 in the air. And the moment that was that when you saw Ricochet go into the back and all the wrestlers was there hugging him, you had uh, you had. Charlotte Flair that was back there. You had Seth Rollins that was there. You had Heavy Machinery back there. And then you saw Triple H come out of nowhere and give his boy a hug. Uh, one of his uh, recruits, one of his NXT recruits. Because this is Ricochet's first single title on the main roster. So Ricochet is your new United States champion. We'll see how long Ricochet holds the title here. Uh, will he hold it for a long time? Will Samoa Joe retain it? Only time will tell. I hope WWE gives Ricochet a nice little run uh, with the U.S. title and see what he can do with it. Uh, as the Wizard Nephew Corey says, this the Ricochet is the modern-day Neville uh, in the WWE. And give me your thoughts. What you think? Uh, will Ricochet hold the U.S. title longer than tonight? Uh, well, longer than Monday night? Or will Ricochet be able to hang on to it for a long time? Only time will tell. Uh, then we moved on to a tag team match, which most people thought was going to be garbage, boo-boo, and thought it was going to stink. And that was Daniel Bryan and Rowan taking on heavy machinery. I tell you one thing. Daniel Bryan can make anything look good, and he did it last night. On the stumping ground pay-per-view, they made Heavy Machinery look like a great tag team. Now, nothing to take away from Heavy Machinery. We know WWE has been booking them kind of weekly as of late. Uh, ever since they came up from NXT, we haven't really seen Heavy Machinery do anything except for comedy stuff uh, backstage. But last night on the stumping ground pay-per-view, uh, Heavy Machinery put on a good match with Daniel Bryan and Rowan. Uh, and I almost had an opportunity to win the, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The match was very entertaining, uh, to say the least. And But nonetheless, Daniel Bryan and Rowan are still your SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Man, time will tell. See where it goes from here. Who will take the titles off Daniel Bryan and Rowan? It's a good run for Daniel Bryan and Rowan. Uh, you know, Daniel Bryan coming off the WrestleMania loss to Kofi Kingston, uh, where he lost the WWE Championship. He was gone for a while, handling some type of injury uh, that he had. And now him and Rowan are tag team champions and doing a good job with the title, doing a good job uh, with the belt. And let's see where Daniel Bryan and Rowan goes from. And then we moved on. We moved on to Bailey and Alexa Bliss here. Bailey's taking on Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, of course, had Nikki Cross uh, in her corner with her. I had Nikki Cross come out there with her. This match was very, once again, another match that was entertaining on the card. We saw Bailey. You know, you think about Bailey. People said she reached her peak. Bailey has been the NXT Women's Champion. Bailey has been Miss Money in the Bank. Bailey has been the SmackDown Champion. Bailey has been the Raw Women's Champion. She is Miss Cripple, Triple Crown, Miss Quadruple Crown, whatever you want to call her. Bailey has been a staple in the WWE, and she's putting it on decent matches. Glad to see that she didn't get any help or assistance from Sasha Banks here, and they're letting Bailey prevail. Whether they decide to turn her heel or not, uh, none, nonetheless, Bailey has been putting on good matches, and they haven't been boring. Uh, that's one thing you like, and maybe because Alexa Bliss is such a great star uh, in the ring, but this match right was very entertaining, and we saw Bailey pick up the win over Alexa Bliss. Uh, Nikki Cross is there once again. And Alexa Bliss looked disappointed in the fact that she could not get over on Bailey. Uh, I'm glad WWE decided to give Bailey a good run 
uh, with this SmackDown title. Be interested to see who her next opponent would be uh, because that SmackDown women's roster uh, is kind of depleted or kind of down right now when you have Kyrie Singh uh, and you have and, and her tag team, uh, the Kab- Great Kabukis, whatever they want to call themselves. Uh, in their match, you have Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville doing their thing. You have Naomi, who's over on the Raw roster. If you're interested to see who Bailey's next competitor, uh, next competition will be for the WWE Women's SmackDown Championship. Uh, I guess we got to tune into Tuesday night to check out that. Then we move, moved on to one of the longest feuds that WWE has going on right now. If you really think back to last year, this feud started when Roman Reigns announced his return to the WWE after his battle with leukemia and after his leukemia went into remission. We saw this match at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns taking on Drew McIntyre. And it has continued since WrestleMania. And we're heading into the summer. We're officially into the summer right now. And we have still have Roman Reigns taking on Drew McIntyre. And I have not lost any interest in this. This is still a good hard-hitting match. And most people say, oh, well, Roman Reigns this, Roman Reigns that. Look, he's not in the title picture. And that's what everybody was complaining. They could just bring Roman back and, and throw him into the title picture. Wrong answer. They didn't throw Roman in the title picture. They gave Roman a feud, and they helped build Drew McIntyre up and help set Roman Reigns up to be better in the future, whether he goes on to SmackDown and beat Kofi Kingston. Uh, hopefully, WWE doesn't let him and Seth Rollins get into a feud anymore. It's Roman Reigns doesn't need the WWE title. He doesn't need the Universal title to still be loved. And WWE does not want to put him in a situation where he gets booed. Uh, And so, therefore, he and Drew McIntyre put on one heck of a match yet again. Shane McMahon got involved. Of course, we knew he would. Hit the coast-to-coast on Roman Reigns. But at the end of the day, after a Superman punch, the big dog himself, Roman Reigns, prevailed over Shane McMahon, over Drew McIntyre. uh, And and prevails over Drew McIntyre as well as Shane McMahon uh, looking with disgust as the big dog stands up and prevails once again at the stomping ground pay-per-view. A good match there between him, Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns. Uh, Once again, a hard-hitting match, a style of match that you like to see between two big uh, strong behemoths, which is Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns. A very solid match there on stomping ground pay-per-view. This pay-per-view has turned out to be a decent pay-per-view nonetheless uh, then we move on to the cage match Kofi Kingston taking on Dolph Ziggler most people didn't want to see this again uh, didn't think Kofi Kingston and Dolph could as Dolph always used to say steal the show but they did exactly that cage match back and forth here high flying moves Kofi Kingston Kofi Kingston's reign as the WWE champion has been very good since WrestleMania. Uh, he has won all his matches on television. Kofi Kingston has made appearances on Ghana, has cut good promos. WWE has separated him just a little bit from the New Day and allowing him to become his own his own entity or his own person uh, in this case. And what and guess what? They, he, they didn't disappoint him and Dolph Ziggler didn't disappoint. disappoint on this match uh, right now. It back and forth match. Dolph Ziggler hit a super kick on the Kofi Kingston, which opened the door, uh, what, produced, what produced a dive from Ziggler to prevent Kofi Kingston from going out outside of the cage. Uh, but guess Kofi Kingston makes his way outside of the cage and picks up the win over Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler once again missed an opportunity to become the WWE champion it was a very good match check it out if you didn't watch it or you haven't watched it yet check it out on wwe network uh this is one of the good match best matches i've seen in a year over the year kofi kingston is having a good run as wwe champion what's your thoughts do you think kofi kingston's run as wwe champion has been good or has it been you know miserable at best but nonetheless we move on to the final match of the night which we saw Baron Corbin taking on Seth Rollins. And there's been a lot of speculation in this match. Who would be the guest referee? We saw early in the night Paul Heyman in Baron Corbin's locker room. Would it be Brock Lesnar? Would it be Paul Heyman? Would it be somebody else that we didn't see, have not seen uh, in this match? But when when it's all said and done, and when the smoke had cleared, it was none other than Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Lacey Evans uh, became was the guest referee. Now, Twitter went crazy on this. Twitter didn't want, hey, why Lacey Evans? Why not Brock Lesnar? 
it, this is the stomping ground pay-per-view. Can't give you something big, that big, on the stomping ground pay-per-view, can they? I didn't think so. WWE, but nonetheless, look, basically... Lacey Evans was the referee. Didn't call it down the middle. You know she was more against Seth Rollins uh, than anything else. But the match went on. And Barry Corbin, love him or hate him, he has been one of the most consistent heels uh, in the WWE. And he has been one of the most consistent heels. And he's been on top. He's in the main event of another pay-per-view. Um, You know, then we got Becky Lynch. And we got Lacey Evans. Both of these women got involved uh, in this match, which allowed Seth Rollins to pick up the win. Seth Rollins picks up the win and is still, still your universal champion uh, with him, Becky Lynch, closing out the show. WWE's trying to create these two as a power couple ever since they announced their relationship being official or they're allowing people to know that they were in a relationship with each other. WWE's trying to play this a long while. So we probably see a tag team match somewhere down the line. Becky Lynch, Seth Rollins taking on Baron Corbin, Lacey Evans. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. Hopefully, we might even get, if the WWE does it right, you might even get a Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch, maybe gets uh, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon if they decide to go that way. But WWE's using real life couples to bring some realism into their product. Stumping around pay per view overall, I would have to give it a a B minus if you were to look at it uh, give it a total grade as a B minus it didn't it set up some things for later on in the WWE we crowned a couple new champions with Drew Gulak and Ricochet getting their titles respectively the 205 Cruiserweight title in the US Championship we had champions retain Bailey uh, retained her championship Kofi Kingston retained as well as Seth Rollins retained his Universal Championship we saw the Daniel Bryan and Rowan retain their SmackDown tag team titles. And, but we didn't see the Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor. Uh, so it was all in all, WWE put on a good product with Stomping Ground. Uh, I had nothing bad to say about it. Let me know your comments. What do you think of the Stomping Ground pay-per-view? Make sure you leave a comment down below in the comment section. Uh, make sure you tune into the Wrestling Marks of Excellence uh, each and every Thursday night here on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM and 96.9 FM. Also, make sure you subscribe to our other shows uh, that we have on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube videos, our, our podcasts. Uh, once again, a lot of great information that you can check out. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go to Google Play, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe on iTunes. Make sure you check us out on all social media. Make sure you go to WME Podcast on Twitter, WME Podcast on Instagram. And ladies and gentlemen, once again, thanks for joining me for the SmackDown, for the, excuse me, for the Stomping Grounds review show. Once again, I'm Glenn Thomas, and I'll catch you down the road.